All right, you are taking a live look right now at Clyde Warren Park in Dallas. For years, it was nothing more than a freeway overpass. Then a dream and a transformation into a public park bridging uptown and downtown. Clyde Warren Park opened in 2012, now celebrating its 10th anniversary with lots of activities and fun for everyone this year. Joining us now is Kit Sars, president of Clyde Warren Park. So glad to have you with us this morning. Thanks for having me here. Good to see you. Absolutely. For those who are new to North Texas, tell us a little bit about how Clyde Warren came to be. After all, it was a highway overpass. Now it's a top destination in DFW. It is. We, we celebrated our 10 millionth visitor last year, and it really has um, been something that has allowed Dallas to connect itself back together, to stitch neighborhoods back together, not only uptown and downtown, but also beyond. We have people who come from all over uh, North Texas who look different from each other, worship different from, differently from each other, from different neighborhoods, and they, they participate in our free programming all year long, everything from fitness classes to concerts um, to different special activities. Yeah, a lot of activities that people can see there uh, throughout the month. Um, as you celebrate 10 years, you're not done expanding. Tell us about what's coming. Well, we're in the process of almost uh, doubling the size of our, our children's park. We're going to be 18,000 square feet by the end of August, um, thanks to a gift from the Perot family. And we're adding a climbing tower with a slide. We're adding a birthday party pavilion that people can rent for birthday parties and all sorts of equipment there. We're also going to be completing our Nancy Best Fountain, which will be on Pearl. Um, and that will be done also in August and we'll shoot up water into the air about 30 feet and it will come down and the children will be out allowed to walk through it and play with it. But every evening it will also have choreographed music. So you could come for Beatles night and watch um, the water dance to music and lights while you listen to 20 or 30 minutes of Beatles songs. That is incredible. Also, there is a dog park coming. We opened our dog park in November, so we're really just entering into the first full spring of it. Um, and there are people there with their dogs all the time. You know, this area is now not just popular to visit, but it's popular to live in. And about 60 to 70 percent of the residents have dogs and they need a place to walk them. So they're all getting to know each other and, and their neighbors and, and linger in our, in our larger and shadier dog park. Yeah, so many activities and, and things to do out there. Can you tell us about some more events that are coming up? Absolutely. So we're celebrating 10 things we love about Clyde Warren Park all year. And you can check out our website, ClydeWarrenPark.org, for that information. But for example, our weekly free fitness classes. We're doing 10 classes on Saturday to celebrate 10 years. And we'll have um, all sorts of other activities as well. We've got a special concert we're going to celebrate um, we're going to have a birthday party for Clyde Warren Park in October, which is actually our birthday month. And we're going to have our traditional free celebrations for the community, Independence Day with fireworks, trick-or-treating, free trick-or-treating um, just before Halloween, and our tree lighting celebration in December. A lot of things to look forward to. And before you go, Kit, um, it's just incredible to see what this highway overpass has just developed and morphed into over the span of 10 years. Tell me, how are you feeling about seeing all the success? Incredible, because not only is it the gift that keeps on giving with people coming from all different parts of the community, as we discussed, but it's also a huge economic impact for Dallas. I mean, over the past 10 years of Clyde Warren Park, the property values right around here have increased to the point where they've returned incremental tax revenue of north of half a billion dollars to the city, which then goes to pay for hospitals and roads and things that we care about, we need our city services for. So it's really been a win-win and we're excited about the next 10 years. Well, I can tell you for folks who haven't been there, they will now, a lot to do there. Kit, thanks so much for joining us here on Midday. Take care. Thanks right, for inviting too. me.